Hi Claire, thanks for joining me today. It's been eight years since we worked together and I wanted to do one of those videos that, you know, goes back to what happened eight years ago and, and where are you? <laughs> so lovely to see you. Thanks for coming on. So Claire, tell us a little bit before we get going, tell us a little bit about your business and uh, where you were in terms of public speaking eight years ago. Okay, so um, CJ Garden Services is a grounds maintenance company based on the south coast just in uh, southern Hampshire. Um, providing uh, grounds and uh, garden services to business units, industrial units, and uh, blocks of flats primarily with a sprinkling of domestic customers. Um, public speaking, gosh, um, I, I think this has haunted me. Well it, well, it has haunted me all my life since my school days. And being, you know, once your business gets established, you do get invited to networking events. And when I found out you stand up and speak to people in the room, oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not doing that. It just fight or flight. And I was flying the other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Running away as fast as you could. So you didn't like public speaking, would you say? I was terrified of it. Terrified. Um, yeah, but phobia is probably not a strong enough word. I, I could feel the anxiety and the, the, the palpitation start even when anybody mentioned it um which is but I couldn't I, I'm a great believer in, in finding out why why is this happening to me why am I like this which I think is what what led me to, to you Dia, from the introduction from James Potter the LinkedIn man yeah yeah and so then we did some taming your public speaking monkeys the, that program that as I call it so what did you like best about that program I'll, I'll be honest I, I wasn't looking forward to it but it, I knew it was something that I had to do because I you know I, I overcome things that that's what I do um what did it I think you videoed us. We did some role play. I, I liked the fact it was a, a small group then because we we obviously did it in person back back then. In the um, days. In, yeah, I know, I know. And I, I I think there was possibly a lady from Tesco's on the course. I seem to remember there was. There, I think there was meant to be three of us, and on the day there was only two. But I I liked I liked that kind of intimacy with the group. Um, but yeah. The, got so much information from that and I, and I still have my book and all of my notes that I do do re refer to occasionally public, this this book this, yes, oh it's blurring this one there it is yeah that's it <laughs> yeah so we tamed some of your monkeys I talk about these little monkeys we tamed some of them on the day didn't we and um almost immediately I got uh, after the program I remember getting a testimonial you literally wrote to me and said you could speak freely at your networking groups and you did a talk to like 30 people you weren't using notes so almost immediately after that I had some solid proof that you'd done like two or three talks that went really well and now here we are eight years later and you um, have done something recently you did a business event recently and you said you didn't use um, you just had some a couple of points on your notes and you didn't use powerpoint so tell us about that journey about how it how it has come on in those eight years it's I think it's a strange thing when you're used to using PowerPoint and obviously what I do is very visual so it's, it's very easy to use PowerPoint to show people but I've actually found that I engage more with the audience when I am just talking to them and you can you know you can look them in the eye or you know look towards the back of the room and, you know do, do what you do um, and it's quite nice to be able to walk around and I and I do um, occasionally take plants with me so I can stand and talk in it and I get very very enthusiastic when I talk <laughs> about plants funnily enough right um, which I've never really recognized in myself and, until someone said to me said Claire you absolutely come alive when when you do this so it, it's kind of copy and paste and, I, and I've got you know when I'm asked to speak at an event I've, I've got my cards and it, to a degree now I probably wouldn't even need so so many of those and it's nice to not be completely word perfect rehearse know roughly what you want to say but depending on who's in the audience you, you adjust exactly so knowing to adjust your audience it's not a script being free to speak and the kind of emails you get back after your talks you said they were they were really positive weren't they absolutely um that I inspired people which that just makes me so proud um because I, I really believe that, you know, your outside space is so important. And, and, and obviously, they haven't gone through COVID. It became even more important to people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the, uh, you know, the, the positives it can bring to, to one's mental health are, are not to be underestimated. So if I can help people 
to, to sort of gain the positivity that I have fr from my outside space, then, then that's what I try and do. And that allows yeah. me to get very enthusiastic. So, um, so businesses can have their staff get benefits from the outside space Absolutely. looking great, Absolutely. or a good first impression when the clients come to the to, yeah. come to the office. Great. You mentioned COVID. Then, um, how did COVID impact your kind of speaking confidence? Well, we we all hopped on Zoom, <laughs> um, and and for someone who lacked such confidence, I I think I, I did become a little bit cocooned in the office again. And then when obviously the COVID restrictions are eased off and you get invited back out, that was quite a big deal for me. And it could have been very easy for me to retreat and, and not push myself out there again. But I think if you, and, and a lot of people have public speaking phobias and fears, if you don't push yourself, and especially as a business owner, you, you must do that. Mm -hmm. And I think your people, even in, that aren't business owners, people in corporate, people everywhere, although COVID is, you know, hopefully long gone now and in the past, yeah. I think there are many people that felt like you sort of a bit trapped in their houses, didn't want to get out, not just for public speaking, but for networking or just going yes. into the office and having to talk to, and do yeah, sort of face to face yeah, presentations again or training. So you're not alone there. So good for you for um, getting back out there, doing some more talks. That's lovely to hear your story. And um, and you even have an aspiration to uh, sing a solo at some point. I, I do. Hear. I do. I'm, I've been a part of Rock Choir now for seven years and that, that has helped immensely with, with confidence I mean I, I always wanted to sing in a choir and, and perform on a stage and we, we've performed all over the place um so yeah that the solo is, is on the bucket list and I will do that brilliant well done well done Claire nice to see you thank you very much Dee take care bye bye